All right, guys, so let's talk about how to punish aggressive opponents in a jiu-jitsu competition. So this is round two of my gi run here at the Revolution 52. And we're going up against a guy that's very, very aggressive. I feel like he was a wrestler. He used a lot of collar ties and just overall like a lot of energy. And you can see me playing very calm. He's moving around a lot and we're gonna take advantage of that. So initially with my gi wrestling, if you guys watched the last video, I like going for these tricep grips. And immediately I'm shooting on that uh, like foot sweep single leg, um, but he's gonna start using his knees to break my grips here. And it got kind of annoying because it was really hard to grab onto him. But eventually I'm just staying calm, waiting for him to, you know, either make mistakes or waiting for grips. So eventually I work my way back to double triceps and here is how we're gonna attack this takedown. So I'm pulling on that right tricep of his, which drags his body forward as I kick my right leg out to block that back leg from coming in. As my opponent falls forward, I'm grabbing that single leg and immediately swinging up to my knees and getting the takedown. Now immediately as I get him on his back, he's instantly scrambling up, trying to get back up to his feet. But first, as I push his torso down, I'm then gonna focus on grabbing the pant legs and the ankles. If I can just hold on to that bottom ankle specifically, it's gonna be very difficult for him to make his way back up to his feet. So now as my opponent's just scrambling and creating a lot of energy and a lot of movement on bottom, I'm going to capitalize on that by attacking this pass. So I call this the slash pass. What I'm doing is I'm dropping my chest onto that top knee as I push that far shin away. And I'm trying to make sure that shin stays on the ground. And you're going to see me curve this top leg in so the foot goes on the outside of my hip. And then I'm leaning all my weight onto his knee and forcing his hips to face away from me. So on the technical side, notice how I'm tripoding up and I'm pressing my chest and my hips onto that top leg and I have that grip on the pant leg and I'm pushing that shin down on the ground and this really keeps his hips facing away and what it's causing him to do on like the more athletic side is it's just causing him to burn so much more energy trying to retain his guard from this position. Eventually he switches off to going onto a baseball choke but because of my posture I'm able to just go knee on belly and negate that choke. So one major concept that I'm trying to keep in mind during this match is I'm I want my opponent to carry all my weight. And one reaction we're gonna get out of that is them pushing us away. And right here, as my opponent goes to push and extend me away with his hand and his leg, I'm gonna chain that directly into an attack of my own to attack the hip switch and start working my way to his back. Now he does a really, really good job of using that collar grip to create space, does a uh, forward roll here, and we end up standing back up to the feet. At this point, I'm a little tired and I'm, I know I have a long tournament ahead of me, so I wanna conserve energy. So I go ahead and pull close guard here. What I'm going to do to start attacking these sweeps is I just want to get under my opponent's hips. So I don't really necessarily care for close guard all that much, but you're going to see me use De La Hiva here, hook that bottom leg and scoop my butt clo as close as I can to my opponent. Eventually, I'm going to reach, grab that far leg and then topple him over and get back on top. So as I make my way up and get into this kind of side control position, I'm really baiting a reaction here. I want my opponent to start pushing on my chest so you can see me flaring my hips forward, flaring my chest forward, and he ends up falling for the trap, right? So what I'm going to do is as my opponent pushes on my belly here, I'll kind of rest my weight on that hand. And what that does, it allows my legs to be weightless and I can start attacking the arm bar. So he does a really good hitchhiker escape. Immediately as I start cranking on that arm, he rolls over. So I chain it right into a triangle. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more about that arm bar and other passing techniques, I just released a sneak peek to my passing instructional here on my YouTube channel. It's only $10. So basically just buy the membership, cancel, and it's yours. But back to the video. To get the finish here, he was really stubborn on the triangle, so I'm going to opt to just start attacking the arm. I grab the very end of his thumb, the very end of the lever here, and I start pressing that arm past my hip as I shoot my hips through his elbow, and that's enough to get the tap. So that's how I deal with very aggressive opponents. You know, wrestlers are just people with a lot of energy. What we do is we stay calm and allow them to freak out, capitalize on that movement, and eventually work our way into a submission.